In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. It's Vegas week for my bachelor party. Man, it was insane. Hi guys, you. how are you tonight? Welcome to the Terrace Cafe. Oh, dumb. Oh, hi, Kath. How you been? Um, you haven't called me. Well, I... We're kind of done, you know, and I met, uh, Candy now, so I'm kind of with her. Um, okay, I'll take your drink orders now. What can I get I'll for you? I'll take a water. I'll take a Samuel Adams. I'll have a mojito. Can have a water, please? I'll be right back with your drink orders. So, how about that crack house bus today? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, how are you tonight? Welcome to the Terrace Cafe. Can I fix you up with anything to drink? Anything for you, miss? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Hope she doesn't notice this in her drink. That'll show Candy not to mess with my man. Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks. Baby, this tastes different than it did in Vegas. Really? How, how so? I don't know. Just weird. Maybe, maybe Catherine Poirier. Yeah, it looks all right to me. I don't see much difference with it. I mean, mine tastes fine. Yeah, it's fine to me. I don't know. I don't really feel well. I think I'm going to see you guys later. All right. Oh, my God. Help, help. So I'm telling you, man, JFK's help, death help. was not a conspiracy. Yes, it help. was. Are you kidding oh me? What are you help. talking about? It clearly was. It clearly help. was a conspiracy. How was it a conspiracy? Oh my god, what's wrong? There's a girl laying in the alley. She's over here. No pulse. She's dead. So, uh, so Scotty, I, I heard you, uh, heard you, you went to the Terrace Cafe last night. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good spot for you. You uh, hit that up a lot. Is that true? Yeah, I can say that. I go there maybe a couple times a week. A any particular reason maybe you go there? You know, you, you, you bring, uh, I talked to a couple people there. You bring, you bring a little arm candy every time you go. Yeah, well, that's the way I am, you know. Young, young stud like me. You gotta bring a couple girlfriends with you. You wouldn't say it has anything to do with your ex-girlfriend working there? Maybe, maybe trying to make her jealous a little bit, Scotty? Nah, I moved on from that a while ago, man. So what about your uh, your girl Candy, man? She she hits the mojitos a lot there, right? Mm, man, she loves those she loves those margaritas and mojitos, whatever she orders. What was uh what was different about last night's mojitos, Scotty? Well, uh, I do remember she was saying like it tasted kind of funny. Yeah, maybe because you poisoned it. Are you serious? Did you think about that? Are you serious? Did you think about that? Are you st are you kidding me? Tell me that you poisoned it. I would now. never do that. You know you poisoned it. I would never do that. I saw you poison. I would never do that. You need to sit down right now. I gotta sit down. What are you gonna do? Shoot me in you your hair? Sit down right now. You're gonna shoot me in your Take own interview seat. room? Take a seat right now. You're gonna now. shoot me in your own interview room. Take a seat right now. There are five people watching from that window right there, you're gonna go to jail. Grab the chair and take a seat right now. If you didn't do it, who did? I don't know, why don't you ask my ex-girlfriend? She's so damn psychotic. That's the reason why I left her in the first place. And on your way in, what did you say? I found candy laying on the floor by the door. Okay. And what did that prompt you to do? We started screaming for help. But our forensics team said that the body was lying there for a while before we found it. So why didn't you scream for help earlier? I did. I was screaming, but I don't think anyone could hear me. You know, the restaurant was really loud. So you probably had to keep screaming louder and louder for us to hear you. Right? Sounds like a classic case of Lover's Law to me. Are you here? Um, well, I was arrested for my third DUI this week, and, uh, I was driving with my friend Billy Heifel, who stole all my money because he's all drugged out in the car, and now I'm mm -hmm. arrested, going to jail with no money. Mm -hmm. It's a tragic story. 
I, I really don't know. It's if, sucks, if, if it's yeah. not dead, yeah. it, it, it's not the boyfriend. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's got to be Catherine. Situation. She definitely killed her. It's tough. So, uh, think I can borrow some money? Excuse me. So, sorry, what? I know it's awkward, but do you think I can borrow some money? I've been too shelter. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. All right, Catherine, so uh, why don't you tell us about your work day the other day? I heard some interesting things happened. Um, nothing really. It was just a regular day at work until, oh, stupid ex-boyfriend came in. Uh, did, he, did he bring anybody with him? Yeah, some stupid girl. Yeah, maybe perhaps a drink order that she, you, you might have uh, put in? Maybe a, um, oh, a mojito she ordered, I think. Right, uh, anything interesting about that particular mojito, do you remember? Not really. Huh? Maybe something you did to this mojito? No? Mm, no. Mm, no. Are you sure? I think that's funny, because if my ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend came into my restaurant, you know, I might have a motive to maybe give her a special type of drink. D did you experience that same motive, Nah, nah, nah definitely yeah, she, not. She, she gets mojitos there quite often, and uh, she, she normally enjoys it. It's, it's her favorite drink. But she uh, she noticed the difference on this one. Uh, a anything you know? Uh, you I think besides uh, you were the only one to have access to her drink order. Um, Isn't that the case? Don't you think that's right, Catherine? Why did you do it? <laughs> I, oh my! Like, I don't know. I don't. I just. Face it, Catherine. You put the poison in her drink, and you thought that she wasn't gonna notice it. But Isn't that right? Thanks to the just noticeable difference, she noticed it and now you're caught. You thought it'd be like a normal mojito. Didn't think you put enough of the poison in for her to taste it, but you did. And that's just how we know enough to notice a difference. And that's how we know it was you. Uh that's it. Okay. You come downtown. It's time to go. go. Yeah. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, Woo! Uh, the shit. Uh, Woo! Yo, hey, this is the beat that makes us shake your rump. That make